Just is here with more on that. Hey, good morning, guys. Today's my pick of the week. We have low humidity in store, lots of sunshine and temperatures right where we should be here for June 9th, 82. That's our average for this time of the year. But as we go through the weekend, we do warm things up. The humidity creeps upwards and by Sunday we're into the 90s and we stay there straight through the middle of next week. So our first real heat wave of 2017 getting underway. Thanks to this big blue age of high pressure setting up shop and anchoring itself right around the area of Bermuda. And that's going to bring in our winds out of the southwest, bringing not only the humidity, but also the heat. Numbers in the 90s, just our air temperatures in the 90s. You factor in the humidity, heat index value is going to be approaching 100 degrees come Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, it's going to be a hot one out there, but not the hottest we've ever seen, just the first of the season. Here's how it looks on satellite and radar. Clear skies, as you saw with our sky view. It is chilly out there. A few spots reading in the 40s, like in Melfa at 49, 50 Chesapeake, 51 in Ahoski, 54 now in West Point, 56 Hampton, 51 Gatesville, and 54 out at the beach. Now through the day today, lots of sunshine all throughout. Out lunch outside type of day for sure in the mid 70s by that time sunny and beautiful this afternoon up to 82. We'll talk more about that weekend outlook coming up. But first, here's Christina with a check on the roads and traffic is starting to build all across Hampton Road. So far, I-264 stick still checking out just fine for you. The downtown and midtown tunnels, no issues if you're traveling that way. We are starting to see that usual delay at Naval Station Norfolk. You see that red there. Where exactly does it begin? We'll take a live look at I-564 at I-64. You see some brake lights there and it really slows down. Oh, seems like our camera timed out there. Um, it really slows down as you approach the Naval Base. I also am seeing a report of an accident in Norfolk on I-64. I'm going to go ahead and get some details on that and we'll, back with, we'll be back with an update, guys. All right, thank you, Christina. I'm now turning to a live look at Town Point Park in Norfolk from our sky view at Nauticus. You can see the sun coming up. We can see a little bit better out there. In just a few hours, those waterways will be filled with ships as Harbor Fest gets underway. It is the 41st year for the largest, longest running free maritime festival in the nation. And this morning, Elise Brown is giving us a preview as crews put the final touches on the big event. All right, Elise, how's it looking out there? Hey guys, it's looking really cool. Take a look at these ships behind me. You can see what looks to be kind of like a pirate ship right there. And then next to it in the white, we've got the Degayas out of Ecuador. It's a training ship for the Ecuadorian Navy. And they were commissioned in 1977. So over their years, they've traveled over 375 miles. Now we've seen people out and about this morning. It looks to be a crew um, at one part of the ship. And on board there are 94 enlisted sailors, 16 officers, and 43 midshipmen. So now, Will, we're gonna swing on over and look at the Flying Fish. That's with the U.S. Coast Guard, and they're based out of my hometown, Boston, Massachusetts. Now that patrol po boat is 87 feet and has a crew of 11. Now an interesting tidbit about the Flying Fish, they played a vital role in providing more than 120 hours of maritime security during the Boston bombing trial. Now behind these ships right here, there's also their American Rover and tons of yummy food options. See those tents? Food. I've definitely seen someone, some uh, food tents that I want to visit later. And Tim, they've got Greek food. Back to you guys. <laughs> Thank you, please. A lot to check out. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys. The festivities kick off with the Parade of Sail. 13 News Now is a proud sponsor. And if you can't watch the parade in person, do not worry. We have you covered. Catch our live report from Town Point Park and along the Elizabeth, Elizabeth River on 13 News Now at noon. And if you're planning on heading downtown Norfolk this weekend, crowds are inevitable. And if you plan on driving, start prepping now. We reached out to the city and they say all garages will be open. It will be $5 to park, cash only. The exceptions are the MacArthur Center garages. And this morning, we're asking you, what is your favorite part of Harbor Fest? So you can see your options here, the parade of sail, touring the ships, fireworks, concerts, and food. So let's talk about how things are kind of panning out here on 13newsnow.com. Looks like food is number one at 47%. Elise was just talking about it, a lot of options down there. The parade of sail comes in second, at least as of right now. Concerts and touring the ships tie for third. Fireworks at the bottom right now, but you still have time to change how this whole thing looks. Head over to 13newsnow.com forward slash vote or open the 13 News Now app and let us know. And if you're headed to Harbor Fest, bring the free 13 News Now app with you. We've got a full list of the weekend's festivities and all the information you need to know to get around. It's not just about the shopping. It's about creating a sense of place. 
a new outlet mall opens in Norfolk at the end of the month, and we have a look at the progress so far at the Norfolk Premium Outlets. In addition to 85 stores, there's also a walking trail by the lake, a park, a pier, and a children's play area. Officials also have a plan in place to make sure traffic can move smoothly going in and out of the mall on Northampton Boulevard. Lots of eyes on Wall Street today following the special election in Britain. When Prime Minister Theresa May's Conservative Party failed to gain a majority, the pound fell more than two cents against the U.S. dollar within seconds of polls closing. Some investors worry the lack of majorities for conservatives would weaken the next government's hand in Brexit negotiations. Well, the woman accused of